Now, the Member of Parliament for Adaklu, uh, Kwame Agboza, wants government to increase its investment in the country's education sector and consider the welfare of teachers. According to him, though the government continues to invest in infrastructural development in the sector, very little attention has been given to the teachers who produce the country's human resources. Speaking at the 6th uh, Quadrennial and 53rd Delegates Conference of the whole District Chapter of the Ghana National Association of Teachers, Mr. Agboza grieved the government's refusal to negotiate salary increment with teachers, though charges for services and goods were increased in the 2021 budget. Mr. Agboja advocated for a policy where teachers who are posted to deprived communities are paid incentives. I feel the little we can do for the teacher should be that the teacher should be able to meet much his expenditure with his income. That is why I still don't understand why we say we have read an austerity budget, where we have increased the price of everything so the teacher will pay more rent, the teacher will pay more transport fares. The government you did not naturally say is that no negotiation for salary adjustments here. In other words, every teacher is worse off under the 2021 budget. Without the doubt, you are worse off because it's the same salary. But what your salary can buy in 2020 is not what you can buy now. So I think government should quickly review that policy. You, it is not fair for you to tell me to pay more taxes. Pay more for my goods and services, but my source of income is restricted. I don't think that, that is fair. As a state, we should have a policy where those who take posting to difficult areas like my constituency, or part of my constituency, should have a margin of their remuneration attached to it, not the meager thing they put on it like a uh, house they're renting allowed because that one doesn't cut it. A former Volta Regional Education Director and former regional and national president of the Ghana National Association of Teachers, Buadi Mausi Alexander, urged leaders of the association to negotiate for better working conditions for members. We can turn our new staff strength into an advantage when properly managed. Today, public sector wages are very low and working conditions are deteriorated. We must accept that the patient is a public good and the key player who is a teacher must be treated fair. The leaders of the association must develop new strategies to improve the lot of teachers as we've done in the past. Negotiations must take into consideration the macroeconomic indices. If you are telling me the growth rate is this, the GDP growth rate is this. And uh, you are not indexing my salary according to it. Then inflation is this. You are not indexing my salary and my therefore my my real income was not for. The whole district not chairperson, Lois Tipon Asari, advised stakeholders to ensure technocrats are allowed to run the country's education system. Nation building is a collective responsibility. Politicians should provide the resources and allow competent, experienced, dedicated teachers and officers to run the system. Let us eliminate the profession from political patronage. Fred Kwame Asari, Joy News, Ho. Oh.